Echocardiography in pulmonary embolism is useful in several ways. Visualization of thrombi within the right heart or pulmonary arteries would be the most direct way of diagnosing acute pulmonary embolism by echocardiography. Mobile thrombi in the right heart known as tinea cardis detected during echocardiography carries a poor prognosis with higher association with right ventricular dysfunction and mortality. In general, the chance of detection of mobile right heart thrombi in acute pulmonary embolism is about 4%, though up to 18% have been detected in certain intensive care settings. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button, press the bell icon after that for all updates. Transesophageal echo can detect thrombi in central pulmonary arteries as well. Hence, it may be a useful investigation when patient is too unstable to be shifted for CT pulmonary angiography. The other group of echocardiographic findings in acute pulmonary embolism are features of right ventricular overload due to sudden rise in pulmonary arterial pressure and right ventricular dysfunction. Tricuspid regurgitation jet velocity is useful to calculate the right ventricular systolic pressure by the Bernoulli equation P equal to 4V squared. Main pulmonary artery, right ventricle, right atrium and inferior vena cava can be seen to be dilated in acute pulmonary embolism. Right ventricular dilatation manifests as an increased RVLV diameter ratio. Relative sparing of right ventricular apex with hypokinesia of right ventricular free wall is known as McConnell's sign. It is considered to have a high positive predictive value though it may not be seen in many cases. A Doppler echocardiographic pattern known as 60 by 60 sign may also be present in pulmonary embolism. In this case, pulmonary flow acceleration time is less than 60 milliseconds and tricuspid regurgitation jet gradient is less than 60 millimeters of mercury but more than 30 millimeters of mercury. Tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion measured by M-mode echocardiography is also a useful measure of right ventricular systolic function. Echocardiographic demonstration of right to left shunt across a patent for a whale would suggest the possibility of occurrence of paradoxical systemic embolism and thereby connote a higher potential for mortality. Echocardiography is also useful in differential diagnosis by demonstrating an alternate diagnosis like massive pericardial effusion with cardiac tamponade or aortic dissection. It may be noted that if severe RV hypertrophy and very high TR jet gradients are seen, it is likely to be a pre-existing severe pH as in chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension rather than acute pulmonary embolism. But a person with chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension can also develop acute worsening due to a fresh bout of embolism. Here are the initial set of references on echocardiography in pulmonary embolism. Remaining references of echocardiography in pulmonary embolism are here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.